Welcome to our Monday night reading, and our Monday night reading will actually start with Tuesday. I know it's confusing, but it will be, uh, it, it helps us to get through to the end. So starting uh, Tuesday's reading, the lesson from the withered fig tree. In the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree withered away to its roots. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly, I tell you, if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, and if you do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will come to pass, it will be done, uh, it will be done for you. So I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it, and it will be yours. Whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone, so that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Thank you. 
There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and leaves the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. Come to the wedding banquet. 
but they made a lot of it and went away. One to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet.
The same day, some Sadducees came to him, saying there is no resurrection. And they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies childless, his brother shall marry the widow, and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died childless, leaving the widow to his brother. The second did the same, so also the third, down to the seventh. Last of all, the woman herself died in the resurrection. Then whose wife of the seven will she be? For all of them had married her. Jesus answered them, You are wrong, because you know, you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry or nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what is said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is God, not of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astounded at his teaching. Thank you. 